Hey, welcome back. My name is Al, and today we're going to talk about how to like visualize and animate a waveform from an audio, kind of like what you're seeing on the screen right now. All right, I'm going to drop in a basic cube, and then I already have a material made. It glows, so that's cool. Nothing fancy. I just like the way that looks. <clears throat> and we're going to come up to the top. And we'll go to mash and make sure the cube is selected. Press this first option. This will create a mash network. Kind of hide that original cube. But if we zoom out, we have uh, these cubes that are instances of that first cube. Um, we can change that number under mash distribute here. But right here, I'm going to go to audio, add audio node. From here, let's just go open a wave file. Okay, so I have it opened. Well, let's go to frame one. So mine was going way too fast. So make sure you right click your timeline, playback speed, set that to real time. Let's go back to frame one. This is that waveform that's being visualized. And if I really wanted to, um, if I need to see it on the timeline, I can drag and drop this onto my timeline. There we go. So a couple of settings that you might change. We have mode. So we're under mash audio mode spectrum. We have average. So just a different visualization of that waveform. We have max bands. If for whatever reason, it is not kind of looking like mine, you can change the max bands uh, to cover all of those cubes if you need it. That's great. And we also have smoothing. So right now it looks very choppy, which nothing wrong with that. But if I crank smoothing up, you know, it looks very smooth, maybe more appealing. Depends on what you're going for. So I like something that's a little choppier. If we were to go to distribute and make this like, we've got a lot more cubes, right? You can have very little cubes, very few instances, or we can add a ton and you can actually start to visualize this, like uh, this waveform. And let's render, see what that looks like. So visually, I don't like how much those are overlapping. So I'm actually just going to take this we're going to mash distribute. We're going to lower that value and then it'll just be up to render. 